Hello everybody and welcome back. Today's video is actually going to be a single part. Um, originally intended to be a four part for the installation of Windows 3.0 and 3.1, 3.11 and 3.11 for workgroups. Um, but because mainly the actual installation for Windows 3.11 and 3.11 for workgroups is almost identical, um, and really kind of pointless to make a second video or a fourth video technically for Windows workgroups. All right. So what we're going to do today is we're going to I'm going to show you how to install Windows 3.11, and I'm going to show you my copy of Windows for Workgroups 3.11. It's the same installation. I will have everything down in the link below. So if you want to install Windows 3.11 or the one for Workgroups, I will be giving you the actual installation files down below, like I always do, and the virtuals that we actually do in the videos today. So you can follow along, or yeah, you just wanted the virtuals to say, hey, I got Windows 3.11. You're more than welcome. Okay, so like always, you gotta install DOS previously. So mine's already set for MS DOS 622 with CD ROM support for both. Okay, and then for the virtual machine, um, technically they don't have a 3.11, you're just gonna wanna set the operating system to 3.1. So I name it 3.11, Microsoft Windows 3.1. Okay, under hardware, all right, you're going to want to boost up the memory to 64. Um, I wouldn't leave it at the default 16. Um, it's just not good enough for it. Uh, I mean, it probably is, but hey, you got the power. I mean, 64 megabits, it's nothing. Um, hard drive, leave it alone. CD, leave that alone. Floppy, as you can see here, I have my floppy image ready to go. But I am disconnected, so I don't have to worry about connecting when we boot into it. Um, if you don't have a floppy, just go down below, hit add, add floppy drive, but you should because you already installed MS-DOS on your system. If you haven't installed DOS and you have no idea how to do that, check out my videos in my, in, uh, check out the link below actually in my, in my description that will show you how to install MS-DOS 622. Um, again, I give you all the files you need as well as the CD-ROM support, so you can go ahead and install that. and. As you always know, I probably inst I installed Doom every time, and I installed Doom via CD, because um, I made an ISO of it instead of an image. So, let's go ahead and boot Windows 3.11 and get this thing started. Okay, so now while MS-DOS is booting, we're gonna go ahead and start mounting our disks. Now, as you can see here, uh, you will be getting all of these installations. Microsoft does not really care if you go ahead and, and take these because there's no piracy involved for obsolete or as they call it abandonware. Oops. So if you want to follow along, everything's down below. All right. So again, A colon, type in setup. Okay. And now pretty much identical to all the other installations. Um, the 3.1 one is actually an update um, to, to 3.1. There's no actual difference involving with this. Just want to make sure I press the right button. Okay. So I don't want it to end up failing on me. So we hit enter. Um, again, previous video I stated custom setup or express setup for all intents and purposes. You're more than likely going to want to use express setup. A, you're not going to want to do a custom unless you're building this on an actual live machine. So you have an old uh, 386, you know, computer that you're trying to put this on. Then you may want to do a custom install because you're going to have to pick certain drivers and everything. But to install a virtual machine, all we got to do is actually just go with the express installation. Okay, and we're going to do the old floppy shuffle at this point. So go down to the bottom right hand corner and click on the little floppy icon or if you depend on how old you are, the save button. Okay, and we're just gonna keep on throwing discs at it. So again, floppy browse, disc number three. Okay. So the setup is pretty much identical to the previous setup before, because um, you didn't get updates, you get updates today. 
updates back then, you actually had to get from the manufacturer, you had to get it from your distributor, and they would actually mail them to you. Uh, could take weeks, sometimes a month, depending on how long it ever took. So not like today where you can just go on the internet and get everything you need. You have to literally wait uh, for everybody. Oops. All right, we can go ahead and skip that error. Uh, for the most part, most of the errors, if you do get any errors, like you just see on the screen there, you can skip them. Um, if it actually ends up being a problem where you have too many of them, I would go ahead and re-download the copy that I sent you. Um, only because uh, you shouldn't be getting that many errors. Um, like R2 errors are just basic driver errors that aren't going to do anything for our system, so it's okay. No printer installed. For DOS, we always want to edit. For Doom, I don't want it to do anything to my Doom on here. Cancel until it skips past that. Now you won't see that error, it's only because I actually have Doom installed. Um, otherwise, you would have just seen it right to this screen. All right, so skip the tutorial. All right, now what we're going to do down below here, go to the little floppy icon again. We're going to disconnect. It's probably going to yell at me. And we're just going to hit reboot. Okay, once DOS is all loaded, we're going to go ahead and type in CD Windows and type in Win. And there you go. Now you're pretty much looking at the exact same thing as Windows 3.1. Um, as you can see here, the program manager, it is 311, 93, this came out. Uh, but for the most part, there is absolutely nothing different in here. The only thing that was mainly different with this update was driver and compatibility changes. Uh, hardware was changing you know, back then, so people couldn't actually install this on certain programs or certain computers and so on. Um, so, but yeah. And then like in our previous videos, go to desktop. Got our little boxes here. Go ahead and change the font. Um, the font you always got to reboot. Date and time you can pick. As you see here, it's showing up 2020. So it's amazing. Which is ironic because actually a lot of the beta builds that I've worked on, like Whistler and Longhorn and them, you actually can't make them. Or Neptune's another one. You can't make them. Uh, anything past Windows two th uh, year 2000 because if you do on the time clock it actually breaks and you'll be able to see that in a future video that will be coming out within probably about a week okay. and that's pretty much it so amazing how it's still broken but I did say I'm going to show you that. Now, to install Windows 3.11 for workgroups, it's identical to what we just did. Um, the only thing that they're going to ask you differently will be a network. If you want to add networking and everything, and chances are you're probably not going to. I mean, you can. It's just going to end up like the other ones where it's not going to work. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hop over here, and I'm just going to boot my virtual machine. Now, the settings are identical. I didn't change anything between Windows 3.11 and this one. So we're going to type in CD Windows and Win. And there you go. So as you can see here, I did a little extra work with this. Um, as I said, I'm doing another video about how to set everything up here, how to change background screens the way you are. Um, see, we added Microsoft Word in here, ISS for internet capabilities for web, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. We also have the Office Suite here, which was really kind of just Word. Word Perfect is down here. I don't know what Calmere is. Oh, never mind. It adds the desktop icons over here. 
That's what that was for. So we should be able to actually maximize this screen. So there you go. Yeah, Calamir, what it did was it actually added the start buttons and everything else here. Like when, like the newer Windows. Again, I'll go over a video on how to do all this at another date. Um, this is just pretty much showing you that I do have this. Now, if you want to download this a copy of the virtual I have, you're more than welcome to. It is available in the description below. Um, as you can also see here, we have all our favorite games. And this is one of the main reasons why I loved, you know, Windows 3.11 is because of these games. I played these games so much as a kid. So it's just mind-blowing. See, look at this. There's nothing great about this. And the purpose of this game is just make it as small as possible. Next. And just keep adding more and more balls throughout the whole game. Chips Challenge. Oh man, this is one of the games I used to play a lot. So all you do, main goal is just kind of walk around and just picking up keys. Open up all the keys, make sure you get all the chips. And when you open up all the chips in this game, oops, I didn't get a green key yet. So at this point here, we go through it all. And now we're able to go through. That's it. You can't you can't complete the game without actually going through. So here, you know, we'll go ahead and do one more level. And like I said, I will be going making a whole video on this because this is actually something I really miss using and everything else. And I had so much fun over the years with this. And like always, too, we always get Doom involved. So if I remember correctly, I do believe I actually have Doom installed on here as it did yell at me for it. So we'll go to main. Nope, I'm sorry, accessories. Come on. Yeah. And why can't I figure out what I did with file manager? Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and skip that. And we're just gonna go down here. Open up this very specialized file manager setup. You probably can't see this, so I'm going to go ahead and unpin that. And then we got Doom. So we go here, Doom EXE. And like always, you know, watch me run around. It'd be really terrible at the game. Wow, these keys are really bad. Okay, so we're just going to pretend I didn't actually do this only because those keys are pretty bad and I don't know who configured those. But, yeah, so that's, the, that's Windows 3.11 and 3.11 for work groups. Um... I hope you guys check out my, my future video on all this so we can go ahead and show you how to install all these games and Office and Calamere and all the rest of the stuff here that kind of made everything worthwhile with Windows back then. I will be doing future videos as well. We're moving on after this. We'll be going to uh, the NT series, so NT 3.5, NT 4, 2000. Millennium and then I'm going to start the beta editions. Um, I probably won't do too many videos until later on about how to install XP 7 and so on because majority of the people Have videos out there to do it. I am going to do in the future um, But for the most part people are sure we have the you know tutorials Ungodly amount of them and how to install XP and Vista and 8 and 10 and all that stuff But I do plan on doing all that as well as the servers ESXi sharing between everything um, so there's a lot of good things that are be coming in the future. So stick around, enjoy it. Um, I hope this helped somebody out there, or again, just brought back some nostalgic purposes uh, for people. And if you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like the video, well, 
it is what it is. Can't make everybody like everything. Um, but yeah. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. I also, like I said, will be uploading the Windows 3.11 and the workgroup VM that we you see right here down below. If you kind of just want to have the VMs without doing all the work. But if you do want to do all the work, I will be leaving the link down there as well that has all the ISO files and everything to create what I, you see here. So if anything else, you know, I hope everybody has a great night and I'll see you with the next video.